What's up, kings and queens? How you guys doing today? Man, I know it's been a while since I uploaded Call of Duty content to my channel and just a commentary with voice, period. And um, part of the reason why I wasn't um, uploading any Call of Duty content is because I had really, really shitty internet. I'm talking about borderline dial-up connection, that DSL connection. And it would take me like to upload a nine minute video it would take like maybe eight hours and you know and then when I tried to play Call of Duty I was always a one bar because of my internet connection so it was really hard to like play I would rage and I would just not even want to play at all because I can't play you know with a one bar nobody can really it's just you just get lag fucked left and right so that's part of the reason why I wasn't uploading content. But recently I upgraded my internet connection, 50 megabytes per second. And um, yeah, when I did the testyourspeed.net, my ping was 10. And you know, the closer to one it is, the better. So anyways, um, yes, um, what I wanted to talk about first and foremost is um, this the internet connection that I got the 50 megabytes per second and everything it delivers I mean it's probably one of the best decisions I made this year um yeah my internet bill will probably go up of course but in the end it's worth it and this gameplay kind of proves it too I'm, I started off pretty slow but then I pick up speed and once you know once I get to my kill streaks it's pretty much a wrap after that like once they let me do my lightning strike and let me pick up all them tags and whatnot and once i hit my stealth chopper my <laughs> my kill streaks just keep rotating after that and you know of course unless they kill me but it was a point of time where they just didn't kill me and my kill streaks rotated so <laughs> anyways um i want to talk about uh the next gen consoles for one I'm gonna get the Xbox One. On, um, I know I've already said that in a, in a different commentary. And what I'm looking forward to, games that I'm looking forward to, is um, Call of Duty, of course. I'm looking forward to the next Mass Effect. I'm also looking forward to the next Kingdom Hearts. And um, yeah, uh, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to um, quite a few games actually, but those games in particular, I'm gonna try the Battlefield. The new Battlefield 2 because I've actually never played a Battlefield game so I'm deciding to you know broaden my horizons and whatnot in video games and just go ahead and give Battlefield a try because I hear it's pretty epic especially on PC but anyways what I really wanted to talk about in this commentary is trust trust in relationships and just trust in general and how trust is really the one of the main factors, key factors into holding relationships and keeping relationships stable together and less headaches and all of that, you know, um, less complaining, less bitching, you know, all of that shit. So basically, for one, what I want to say is never enter a relationship just giving all of your trust away. Never give 100% trust to anybody because anybody is capable of anything you know we're all human and we all make mistakes so never give a hundred percent of your trust into someone and and never just give your trust a large portion of your trust out in the beginning um it should trust shouldn't be something given out it should be gained and also in really in relationships the two people that's trying to build the relationship should make themselves easy to trust. And what I mean is don't be doing, you know, things, questionable things like little white lies here and there and sneaky things, you know, um, secretive and stuff like that. Don't make yourself a hard person to trust. Make yourself an easy person to trust so that the person that you're developing a relationship with feels comfortable with giving them giving a little bit of their trust to you a little bit at a time you know what I mean and um that's how it should be really it shouldn't be any um any funny business or any 
goofy business anything that makes yourself questionable or makes your partner questionable just you know just let the person know that it's okay and and make sure you ensure them that it's okay now once the trust is actually built it takes just a little bit to break the trust but it takes so much to gain the trust and that's just how it is and trust can be broken in a lot of ways it can be you know it can be disrupted by big things like cheating that just ruins trust altogether anything that you've built trust wise with the person basically after that it's uh the trust barrier has been disrupted and it might you might have to it'll take longer and even harder to rebuild the trust if it can even be rebuilt period because um it depending on the person a lot of times trust can't be rebuilt after devastating things like that and basically betrayal because that's really what it is when you when you when you have someone put their trust in you and you betray them that's but you know that's basically what it is so you know besides all of the major things that can break a person's trust or whatever um there's also the small things can also build up as well so if you're um you know just telling little white lies here and there or getting caught doing you know sneaky things and whatnot those might sound seem you know seem small or you know but it eventually builds up it disrupts the trust barriers little by little and then it eventually builds up so years worth of years months or weeks whatever worth of white lies a little lies here and there and being sneaking stuff it can build up to the same um, impact as cheating would cheating is just such a big thing that it just destroys the trust barrier altogether but little white lies can also destroy it the same way it just may take a little bit more time to build up and all of that so basically what I'm saying is trust is something that should be cherished in relationships you if you don't have trust in a relationship the best thing to do is to just end the relationship because there is no relationship without trust trust is the one of the main holding pieces when it comes to relationships as well as love and everything else so yes that's basically all I had to say about the trust thing trust is is something that shouldn't be toyed with and it's not something easily given out it should be something that's gained over time and maintained anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this commentary and um i'll start uploading a little bit more and have a nice day